Hi everybody, this is Mike Gertis with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with Wonder Dog Yoga, bringing you another love note. Gotta ask you a question. Have you ever heard of loving yourself just the way you are? Now, how many of us have sung that song, thought about it and say, oh yeah, I love myself just the way I am. And then we were wondering, the next time that somebody else got a promotion and we didn't, why we didn't get it, and how that SOB or DOB was able to get it when I didn't get it. In other words, envy. And how about the fact that mom loved your brother or your sister more than they loved you? Or how about you're not number one by your grandma? There's various things that come up that can bring up envy and that can bring up jealousy. And the idea is, they're gonna keep coming up unless you really learn to love yourself just the way you are. You see, if I love myself just the way I am, it's okay for anybody to do well. If I don't love myself just the way I am, I'm comparing myself to other people. When we compare ourselves to other people, we're just walking into a landmine of pain and suffering. Why do we compare ourselves to others? What I can understand the concept of competition when it comes to fun. I love to compete with Dr. Maxine in plain Scrabble. She usually wins, but that's out of the point. The point is who you and I really are is spirit. Who everybody else is, is spirit. Spirit doesn't compete with spirit. It celebrates it, it embraces it. And what's good for somebody else, hallelujah, because it shows that our good is available too. And it doesn't have to be the same good as somebody else. God, I hope it's not. Now, my definition of good may not be your definition of good. And probably your definition of good isn't my definition of good. So why should we compare? I know that um, I'm a lot happier when I just let other people be themselves, enjoy their successes, and go up their corporate ladder or their whatever ladder, get their names published, all that kind of stuff. I think that's great. And you know what? Here's a holy confession. I used to be envious. It's true. I used to think, well, that, that could have been me. I would have, could have, should have. And you know what? I, I'm really grateful now that I followed my own path. I didn't follow their path. I know what's in my consciousness, and I guarantee I do not know what's in somebody else's consciousness. But we all have our own stuff. We have our own stuff that we're working on. We have our own stuff that blesses people. We have our own stuff that doesn't do so good for other people. Those are the things that we get to work on. But this I do know. Wherever I am, wherever you are, if we take this day, whatever is given to us to do, and do it with all our heart and with all our mind, doing it for God, our fellow man, my fellow woman, my fellow being. That's right and perfect just the way it is. Because you're doing right and perfect. That gives you the opportunity truly to love yourself the way you are. Good night. And make sure you tune in Sunday for Reverend Dr. Maxine's magnificent talk. Bye-bye.